Um, thank you very, very much. I regard you as extremely high-minded and positively Rethian because you could have been trying to find Philip Pullman. So, uh, although he's high-minded as well, so, you know, it's... Um, this is the last of the events that the Orwell Prize has run in, in the week of the Literary Festival. We've done a, a, a set of arguments about politics around Orwell, around Orwell arguments, around the state of Britain, around the state of Burma. And we are fantastically um, grateful for you to, for all coming. And we're also particularly grateful for our audience, for our speakers who are giving up um, a Sunday morning when the clocks moved um, and the question we've set ourselves is, is, is as it were what is the BBC for which I'll come back to Ed Vasey I'm sure there are lots of his constituents in the audience is the MP for uh, Wantage and Didcot so a local chap but you also grew up didn't you in Oxford well around. I went to Oxford you went to Oxford, okay. Um, and he's been shadow... I, I didn't know if I grew up when I was here. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Um, uh, he's shadow culture minister and will have, you know, come the election which cometh soon, um, and come Peter Kellner, who we also had speakings, intimate projections of what the polls say. He's going to be in charge of this lump of our national turf, the BBC. Um, his father was, a, was a, a, an economist who advised, in fact, the Labour government, but his mother is an art historian, so he's got really good credentials for art and, he's been, and culture, and he's been very active on the culture front. He has said that he, uh, he wants a smaller BBC because it's doing down its uh, commercial rivals, but he doesn't want to be, beat the BBC up. Our other speaker, and we're really grateful for him um, coming, is David Mitchell, who's distinguished career as one of those kind of great, very sharp British comedians. I think perhaps we can say comedy and deprecating is one of the features of the British culture and British habits and British character, which endures after a very distinguished, growing uh, comedy career on Channel 4 in The Peep Show, in the Mitchell and Webb programme, uh, Mock the Week, Have I Got News For You, and most recently The Bubble, which is one of those very interesting programmes which plays with our sense of what is, in a sense, what, what's going on in the world. So we're very grateful for both of them, and um, they're going to speak a bit, then I'll ask some questions, and then you can have some questions, and I think over the future of the BBC, I think this is such an important bit of our national sense of ourselves that actually having an argument about it, when it's quite difficult to find places to have proper arguments, not conditioned by particular interests about it, is it too big, is it too small, is it doing the right thing, what do we want of it, is, is a really valuable thing to do. So I'm very grateful to you all.